Alright, hello everybody. So today we are going to be looking at the Simplex 4050. Alright, so let's just start out with the overlook of the alarm here. So as you can see, it's got that vintage red color that all the old Simplex alarms usually have. Um, going to the back here, um, as you can see, you have your two wires for hook hooking it up. Notice both of the wires are black instead of red and black. We'll get to that in a second. Right here is our transformer. This is uh, used for, well, we'll get to that in a second, but there's the transformer. And then back in there, since this is sort of a vibratone, you have um, a little piece that vibrates when power is applied, which vibrates this metal and makes the loud sound we all know. All right, so looking at the uh, label here, we see it's a 4050 is the model takes 1.5 amps, 12 volts, not 24, um, uh, 60 hertz, and uh, it's uh, FM approved, UL listed, listed audible signal, and yeah. So looking more into that 12 volts there, this alarm does not operate on DC voltage. This alarm actually operates on AC voltage. It's the Simplex 4051 that runs on 24 volts DC, but this alarm right here actually runs on 12 volts AC, which is quite interesting for an alarm. It's, it's an older alarm, so that must have been how older alarms, or some, uh, some older alarms were powered back then. And that also explains why there's two black wires instead of a red and a black wire. So, yeah, fun fact. So with this alarm um, I got, it also came with something that is really cool, and that is its flush mount cover plate. So suppose you wanted to flush mount this alarm into the wall. You could put this cover plate over the alarm, like so, and then it could be flush mounted into the wall so it's less noticeable. And I think this looks really cool. So right here is what the flush mount cover plate looks like when it's screwed into the alarm. Um, I think this looks really cool, and um, fun fact, I think I'm the only person on YouTube to have the flush mount cover plate with this alarm, so I think that's also pretty cool. And then I'm also going to point out one more thing before we test the alarm, is some of you may have noticed, but there's this little screw right there on the alarm, and what that screw does is if you unscrew it, then it actually makes the alarm louder, or if you screw it in tight, it will make the alarm less louder. So it almost has a volume setting, which is actually really cool. So for this test, I'm just going to have it on low volume, which is all the way screwed in. Today we will be setting off this alarm with my Simplex 4251-20. And um, the alarm is the Simplex 4051. So let me get my hearing protection on. Okay. And now we will be setting it off in three, two, one. Fail. Three, two, one. Alright everybody, so I do hope you have enjoyed the video I did on this alarm, and thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.